All right, today we're gonna do a video on shooting film and why I shoot film. But first, let's go get some film and then we'll head to Coney Island. One of the best parts about living in Brooklyn or the city is how many film stores there are. I can easily walk five minutes, get film and get my film developed. You can't beat that. All right, I'm heading back from the store now. I got Ektar 100, which is like my favorite film stock. And I got Cine Still 400D, which is fairly new and I'm excited to give it a try. I haven't shot with that yet. So why am I down here at Coney Island holding my lav like an idiot talking about shooting film? Well, I'm holding my lav like an idiot because I forgot the clip for it like an idiot. I'm talking about shooting film down here because I've always wanted to shoot film down here and it looks awesome in the winter as you'll see in a second. And I'm talking about shooting film because film prices have skyrocketed lately. I think it's important to address, you know, why people shoot film, why I shoot film, so you can learn from it and decide if you want to shoot film for yourself and if it's worth it. So let's go take some photos and keep talking. I think there are three main reasons I shoot film. The first is it slows me down. There's just way more to think about when you're shooting film. Each shot matters so much more when you're limited on how many shots you can take. And this really makes you stop and say, what about this shot do I like? What don't I like? What can I do to improve it? How can I get my exposure right? And it really helps you learn as a photographer. And that brings me to my second point. Shooting film helps you learn. I've learned so much more about photography and my photography by picking up a film camera. Whether it's metering a scene or learning how to compose a shot, it just makes you focus so much more and then all the stuff you've learned from shooting film can be applied to when you shoot digital. So before I shot film, I never metered a scene. Now I meter my scenes all the time and I've only started doing that because I've shot film. There's a lot that you can learn from having a film camera in your hand and I think that's one of the major benefits of shooting film as a photographer in you know the digital age. And the third reason I like shooting on film, it helps me see the world differently. When I have a film camera in my hand, I'm choosing different compositions and I'm choosing different subjects that I may have not chosen on digital. And as a photographer, I think it's always important to see the world in a different light every once in a while. Now, if you want to shoot film for any of the reasons I just mentioned, go for it. Buy a film camera, get a couple of rolls, shoot every once in a while, enjoy it when you do. But I don't think film is a medium that needs to be shot as your only medium anymore. I think it's too expensive and there's no real benefits. You can argue that it's got the film colors and the film look, but anyone can get that film color and the film look in post while still getting a better image from a modern digital camera. If you're shooting film just for the film look, that's not really the right reason. Shoot because it slows you down. Shoot because you can learn from it and shoot because it makes you think differently. Don't shoot for the film colors. Now you may disagree with me and think nothing beats shooting on film and nothing has the film quality like film. And that's fine, as photographers, we all have our own styles and our own opinions on things. It's just not something I personally believe in. I hope my video helped you decide if you wanna shoot on film or not, and I hope you learned something from it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'm happy to answer them. For now, I'll leave you with some more photos from my trip to Coney Island, enjoy. Thank you.